that I'm saying the only way to cure this situation is for us to take it into our hands and or to cure children that have been misled into the drug culture is to give them something different. They need love. They need understanding. They need firmness. And they don't need these lies that people are feeding them. They're the problem, okay? And all you need to do is look at, um, I'm gonna ask y'all to go watch something on Netflix. It was called Snuff. It was about the drugs, how drugs got started in our nation. It's a sin. Young brother and a living community some of the ones that kind of be introduced to not the drug cartel, but a CIA agent. And he gave something that he did not have. Love. He was looking for love and understanding. And over they gave him love. He was looking for happiness and love. And they gave them drugs. You know, unity, family, happiness is not in some your family drugs or something that means nothing. Because of the deal at the very end of this uh, snow series, you know, the brother was poor on the street, and you see, when you see drug kids so hard and clean. Yeah, so long that you only see them while they're in jail. You wind up seeing them, you know, why they have the illusion of doing well, they're not doing well. They only have to wind up coming to a community that they broke down. And I'm saying, and because we don't go up into these places and don't play no games with these politicians. Because we don't go in the churches like that black revolutionary Jesus Christ. Like that black revolutionary Jesus Christ. Because the only thing he could be is black from the continent that he's from. They killed him like they did Jeremy Fred
First off, I want to hear the queen here. Y'all stay here. She's going to keep talking. Our DJ had to go. But this information you're going to hear, you can't get in the book. So this is priceless, and that's why we wanted to here to give you a first-hand account of what they see at 77 years old fighting his fight. And the knowledge that she has, we present you with this, and thank you, queen. Continue. Okay, okay. All right, everybody, we're going to make a little circle. 
We're gonna make a little circle, everybody get in. Come on, turn around, fly them bubbles up. Everybody start flying them bubbles. While you're doing that, we're praying for prisoners. While you're doing that, we're praying for Palestine. While you're doing that, we're praying for the massive family whose daughter was shot in the face. While you're doing that, we're praying for the uh, Mitchell family whose son was murdered in, in Milwaukee in front of the Hyatt. Yes. While you're doing that, we're praying for little Jake that he find the strength to keep on keeping on. We're praying for the Floyd family. We're praying for Breonna Taylor's aunt and Breonna Taylor's family who loves us and we love them. Every time we get up, make a difference. When Allah raises you up and gives you the strength to get up, you make it happen. We know every day is not your good day or your best day, but you can choose to be unhappy or ill-minded, and you can also choose to fight that and be conscious about what you see and conscious of what you're actually doing. So please send as many bubbles up as y'all can. Thank y'all for coming today. This is the end of the fourth annual Jacob Blake Black Friday.